President, please be seated. President, please be seated. President, please be seated. First of all, the floor is given to Defense Council for Nunjie. You may now proceed. Thank you, uh, Mr. President. Good afternoon, Your Honours Council. Good afternoon, uh, Mr. Witness. Um, I have a few questions that I would like to put to you today, not very many, just a few. Um, um, You told the investigators um, of the investigating judge that you uh, had become, in 1975, a traditional uh, doctor. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Um, why was it that you became a, a traditional um, Cambodian doctor, uh, quote unquote, treating the illnesses of the people in the village? Uh, did you have some medical background uh, or uh, some other education uh, that made the village committee decide to appoint you as a traditional Cambodian doctor? comme médecin traditionnel cambodgien. The villager me Les villageois me faisaient confiance. Because I knew many medicines. Parce que je connaissais I beaucoup knew many, de uh, médicaments. Three roots that je can connaissais be beaucoup de racines d'arbres que l'on pouvait utiliser. Uh, what was your education? Um, Mais quelle était votre formation? Est-ce que vous étiez allé à l'école? Dans les années 60. I did not go to school. Réponse, je ne suis pas allé à l'école. Uh, did you have another form of education? Uh, maybe in uh, with the monks in the pagoda? Auprès des moines dans la pagode? I studied, uh, I, I had some uh, study. Réponse, j'avais quelques études. What kind of study did you, did you do? Quel type d'études aviez-vous fait? Rien, n'ai qu'un, nous I studied uh, maternity. J'avais étudié la maternité. And how to treat some kind of illness. Some of the illness can be healed while some other cannot. You were um, 71 years old. Uh, Mr. Witness, when you gave your statement um, to the investigators, um, how, how old were you in 1970 when um, Lon Nol took power from um, King Father Sihanouk? I was 30 years old around Question. that order is that possible peut-être aux alentours de 30 ans par là est-ce que c'est possible yes i was about 40 years old at that time during the Lunol regime. Pendant le régime de Lunol. Do you remember the coup d'état um, initiated by Lunol very well? Do you remember the events of 1970? Le coup d'état qui a été lancé par Lunol. Vous souvenez-vous des événements de 1970? 
Yes. Réponse oui. Do you remember um, what the Lonol government um, did to people of Vietnamese origin in 1970 and subsequent years? There was Vietnam fighting. The Vietnamese y avait des bombarded at that time. Les à the Americans also bombarded. Les Américains aussi. So my village was also bombard bombarded. Donc mon village a aussi at été bombardé time. à cette époque. Um, what about uh, what about people from Vietnamese origin, um, did anything happen to them? Were they detained? Were, they, uh, were, were Vietnamese people killed, executed, uh, deported? Have you heard anything about that? At that time, there was a group. I was not certain whether the Khmer Rouge or other Khmer group, but they were Khmer. They chased the Vietnamese out. They were fighting and killing took place. Have you have you also heard of mass executions? of Vietnamese people um, by Lonol forces. No, it were the ordinary people who killed. It was not the Lonol who killed. So in 1970, Vietnamese people were executed or killed not so much by Lonol military but by normal people? But is that what you're saying? What you're saying is that Vietnamese people were killed more by people, by ordinary citizens, than by the forces of the Lonol. Is that what you're saying? Yes, by normal people. Yes, by normal people. The answer is yes, by normal people. Did that happen in your area as well, in your district? Did that happen in your area as well, in your district? Did that happen in your area as well, in your district? Did that happen in your area as well, in your district? Did that happen in your area as well, in your district? Did that happen in your area as well, in your district? Did that happen in your area as well, in your district? Did that happen in your area as well, in your district? Did that happen in your area as well, in your district? Did that happen in your area as well, in your district? Did that happen in your area as well, in your district? Did that happen in your area as well, in your district? Did that happen in your area as well, in your district? Did that happen in your area as well, in your district? Did that happen in your area as well, in your district? Did that happen in your area as well, in your district? Did that happen in your area as well, in your district? Did that happen in your area as well, in your district? The Vietnamese soldiers also fought against Khmer soldiers. Les soldats Khmer. The Khmer soldiers were known as the militia men. Sous le nom de militia. Let me. Um, Mr. Witness, um, confront you with a few excerpts from uh, what's, what scholars have written about the period 70-75. Um, I will be referring to the works of three academics, or the two academics rather, and one journalist. Um, two of the three have been testifying here as experts. Um, one of them is uh, a professor called David Chandler. Um, Mr. President, in Monsieur his uh, a book, um, livre, which is on the case file as E3-1686, English ERN 00422834, and there's only a Khmer translation um, on uh, 00679167. Um, he speaks about um, uh, thousands of Vietnamese being killed and wounded in a period of, uh, of a few weeks right after the coup d'état of Lon Nol. Um, have you heard 
of such massacres of Vietnamese people right after the coup d'état. De massacre de Vietnamiens juste après le coup d'état. I did not hear about that. Réponse, je n'en ai pas entendu parler. Uh, the other uh, expert, Elizabeth Becker, Elizabeth uh, that's Becker, an American journalist, Becker, writes in her book E3-20 on the case file, um, English EON 0023-78-30, French 0063839. Seven and Khmer zero zero two three two one six six. She writes about um, massacres of um, eight hundred Vietnamese laborers executed by soldiers and um, whose bodies were thrown overboard into the Basak River. Um, she talks about mass detention of people from Vietnamese origin. Uh, but she also says the following, and that's something that I would like to read to you on the next page. Um, the Vietnamese in Cambodia were not the only targets. Lon Nol also went after the ethnic Chinese, the other type of foreign devil in his configuration of hell. Through the local press, he campaigned against the greedy Chinese merchant class. Um, Mr. Witness, have you ever heard in the time of Long Nol that not only Vietnamese people were targeted, but also Chinese people? No, I did not hear about that. Just to, to finish the subject, um, reading one small excerpt from her book, the book of Elizabeth Becker, uh, she writes, one pro-government newspaper warned that the Chinese of Phnom Penh might reap the same bitter souvenir as the Chinese of Indonesia who were slaughtered in the 1965 uprising. Have you ever heard um, or on radio or read um, in local newspapers maybe or in any other form heard about comparisons um, uh, the Chinese fate to what happened to the Chinese in Indonesia. No, I did not. The reason that I'm also asking you is, um, is the following. In another question. work of a scholar, um, which is only the president in English, um, that is E3-88, that's the book of Shawcross, uh, William Shawcross called Sideshow. Um, he writes the following, um, and I'll, I'll read it slowly for the interpreters. Uh, Nol uh, was being advised by Indonesian officers, rather as Suharto had unleashed Suharto hatred of the Chinese population after the coup against Sukarno, so Lon Nol tried to compensate for lack of peasant support by exploiting the Khmer's traditional fear of the Vietnamese. End of quote. Um, this scholar speaks about uh, 1970 and he talks about, quote unquote, the Khmer's traditional fear of the Vietnamese. Is that something from your experience or memory is, uh, uh, that, that is, sounds familiar or not really?
from doing so. President, witness, please be hold on. Now the floor is given to international co-deputy prosecutor. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Uh, je ne vois pas Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I document don't see this document on the interface or on the Par list of documents on the interface. Par ailleurs, il me semble que cette question de la peur des Vietnamiens pourrait être posée sans devoir nécessairement faire référence à un quelconque auteur ou à une comparaison avec l'Indonésie qui passe bien au-dessus de la tête du monsieur le témoin. Euh, je ne me pose donc pas la question concernant la peur en tant que telle des Vietnamiens, mais euh, l'utilisation du livre de Shaw Cross, enfin, je ne vois pas, je ne le vois pas sur la liste, donc euh, je ne pense pas que ce soit utile non, non plus de l'utiliser. Um, I have no problem in uh, not asking about um, the excerpt, uh, Mr. President. Let me just only focus on that um, last sentence, which one can also find, by the way, and I will come to that in Elizabeth Becker's book. Uh, was there in 1970, or maybe also before and after, something um, that this scholar refers to as and the Khmer traditional fear of the Vietnamese people. President, defense counsel, please repeat your question. I think the witness may not understand your question. So please put, please put your questions clearly to the witness and make your question short and precise and simple because there's a, a level of a uh, lack of understanding of uh, the complicated question to the ordinary person. So the question should be simple, short and precise. Mr. Witness, is your... Was in, in your experience in the time of Long No, uh, the situation that people la situation était telle que les gens avaient peur des Vietnamiens. Les gens à l'époque de Long No avaient-ils peur des Vietnamiens Je n'ai pas entendu parler de cela. J'ai entendu parler de cela. J'ai entendu parler de cela. They were fear of the Vietnamese people who would take our land. And during the Lunol regime, et pendant le régime de Lunol, because the Vietnamese came to live in Cambodia, so they were required to pay for the Lang Thai. If they did not pay for the Lang Thai, they would be arrested. Lang Thai. If they did not pay for the Lang Thai, they would be arrested. Question. That's what I heard. Ou plutôt, le témoin continue. C'est ce que j'ai entendu. Um, one last point, um, Mr. Witness, and that was um, caused by a question of the prosecution before the break. He was asking you about um, differences in um, complexion or skin color uh, of Khmer people. Um, that's why I would like to read a small excerpt again. I will do it very slowly, uh, and then I would like to ask your reaction. If it's too complicated, uh, please do not hesitate uh, to tell me. Uh, Mr. Whit uh, Mr. President, I'm going to be reading a very short excerpt from Elizabeth Becker's book again, E3-20, uh, uh, Khmer 0023-2167. Uh, French 00638-8, sorry, 00638398, and English 00237831. Uh, 
note 3-1 pour l'anglais. Mr. Witness, this um, American journalist also journalist seen as an expert says the following. Um, the educated elite of the country finally began to comprehend the scope of Lon Nol's holy war. De la Sainte livrée par they Lon had not Lol. taken part in the pogroms, ils pas pris part aux nor pogroms, had they actively protested et them. Ils pas non plus protesté contre. Mr. Witt, then the author Monsieur le témoin, says something very complicated, um, dit but then she says the following. Ensuite, elle dit la chose um, few Cambodians Peu de are uh, pure in the sense Lon Nol meant to put into law, while Cambodians are Tandis largely from the same racial stock, many have mixed ancestors. Besides Vietnamese and Chinese ancestors, Khmers can also can have relatives from groups as varied as the Portuguese, Indian, and Indonesian. And of course. Um, so what the author, uh, Mr. Witness, Donc, Mr. seems to be saying is uh, that it is in fact uh, impossible to determine on the complexion of the skin whether someone is Khmer uh, or si from Vietnamese ou origin ou or from any origin. Is that something origine. that you agree with? Est-ce que c'est quelque chose avec laquelle vous êtes d'accord? Merci, Monsieur le Président. Juste Merci, une remarque, il me semble que dans l'extrait qui a été lu, rien ne parle de la peau, mais de la couleur, de la peau de des, des gens. Donc il me semble que notre confrère fait une, une interprétation, une extrapolation, mais que l'extrait ne dit pas ce qu'il croit dire. Il n'est pas question de la couleur de la peau dans cet extrait. Et... Je pourrais tout à fait complet parce que Maître Copé tout à l'heure a laissé entendre que je vais poser des questions sur le teint, les différences de peau entre Vietnamien et Khmer. En fait, je vais poser des questions à propos de la personne chinoise qui avait survécu au massacre à Xa. Je pourrais être tout à fait précis. Um, I have my notes here of this morning, um, Mr. President. Uh, the question is, was her complexion fair? And then uh, I had an objection, and then the prosecution even said um, at the time in the countryside there were no products to make your skin clearer. So he was, um, he seemed to make a distinction on, uh, or at least the argument that you can see on the basis of uh, the skin uh, color, if someone, someone is Vietnamese, yes or no. It's indeed not in the excerpt, but it was what prompted me uh, to read this excerpt from um, the court's expert uh, to this witness. Uh, but my question is, I can be simple in my question, isn't it true, um, Mr. Witness, that it is impossible to see from someone's complexion whether he is Khmer uh, or of mixed origin. They identify the Khmer, the Chinese, and the Vietnamese. The Vietnamese and the Chinese, they practice uh, their traditional uh, ritual, so they identify the ethnicity based on their celebration of their traditional ceremonies.
Is your answer implying that it is indeed not possible to see uh, from someone's skin complexion whether he is Khmer or has Vietnamese origin? Yes, Réponse, oui. that is right. Exact. Uh, thank you, Mr. Witness. Let me now um, go to uh, the day you described, um, the day in 1978. Um, in your um, statement to the investigators, you said um, that they forbid people uh, from walking nearby um, the pagoda Wat Sak. Um, when you said they forbid people to come close to the pagoda, uh, who is they? Who, who were you referring to when you said that, they, that people were not allowed to be near the pagoda? Who is they? Qui ça? Mm. President, President, Mr. President, Mr. Witness, Monsieur please hold on. The floor now is given to International Code of Duty Prosecutor. I am, this is L'avocat est en train de faire ce qu'il reproche constamment aux autres parties, c'est-à-dire de lire un extrait sans avoir posé de questions ouvertes aux témoins concernant cette possible interdiction de circuler autour de la pagode et euh, passe directement, prend ça pour acquis et pose alors d'autres questions. Donc je voudrais simplement que l'avocat de la défense puisse être cohérent et euh, soit pose une question ouverte, euh, soit arrête de faire des objections lorsque les autres parties utilise ce type de pratique. Uh, or, uh, he, he, he stops doing this because other parties seem to be uh, use, uh, misusing this practice. Um, Mr. President, I think the um, witness already extensively talked about uh, not, want, not daring to go to the pagoda. Uh, this morning he said uh, only after three days he dared to go. Uh, so I think the prosecution has covered that particular issue. Uh, that's why um, I went straight to his own uh, statement, but I'm, I have no problem in asking it in an open forum. Um, Mr. Witness, um, do you know whether it was prohibited or forbidden to come close uh, to the pagoda in the time that you described this morning? Yes, uh, it was forbidden to. Réponse, oui, il était interdit. It was the commune chief who forbid, prohib prohibited people from going to the pagoda. Was it only he or were it also other people uh, who prohibited people from coming close to the pagoda? It was the, the people who worked for the commune chief. It was the people who worked for the chief commune. So then, did the commune chief have people patrolling uh, around the pagoda in order to make sure that the villages would not come close? Yes, that's correct. 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 Did it ever happen? Um, before the events that you described this morning, that you were walking uh, close to the pagoda and that you were stopped by those people and that you were sent back? There was prohibition. Réponse. C'était interdit. But, but did you ever... Were you ever sent back 
Uh, were you ever too close to the pagoda and then envoyé. a guard who was on patrol or someone who was on patrol would tell you, uh, go away? Réponse. My house was close to the pagoda. Ma maison était proche de la pagode. I met them. Je les ai rencontrés. Um, how long were those people Question. who were patrolling um, in that area from 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 the very beginning in 1975, or, or did that come later? Pour, uh, de, when de, when de, was the order from the village or tard. community that people de cannot que les come pas close? Le droit de s'approcher. It it was um, every day. C'était tous les jours. Um, now this morning, Question. you said that um, three days after Ce matin, vous avez dit, um, you heard the sound of screaming, jours après avoir entendu uh, les cris. you were close to the pagoda uh, and that you saw vous, vous étiez proche um, de la pagoda. certain things. Uh, can you explain to me how it was possible that three days after the events you were able to get close to the pagoda. Après les événements, vous avez pu vous approcher de la pagode. Well, yeah, three days later, I was there tendering cows, and then I saw a pit, et vu la fosse. the pit where the corpse were buried. La fosse où on avait les I corps. saw bamboo club J'ai vu des cartons de bambou non loin de là. I went there only once and je suis allé I fois. never went there again. Je n'y suis Present. jamais retourné. Witness, you are not responding to the question Monsieur by Thomas, the defense ne counsel. Pas à la question so que vous could you please conseil. listen to the question oui, and then you uh, respond que to the, the question only. So you should wait until you understand the question, otherwise your response will not be helpful for the court because uh, you are not responding to the question. Uh, Counsel Coppe, could you please report your question because the witness uh, did not respond to your question earlier. Uh, of course, Mr. President, uh, Mr. Witness, you said that um, the village chief had uh, appointed guards who were patrolling the pagoda, and that no one dared to come close to the pagoda. Uh, you were not allowed to be close to the pagoda. Yet, you say, three days after the events, you did. You were close to the pagoda. And you saw things. Were you not stopped uh, by these guards? So, these guards ne vous ont-ils pas arrêté? Ou empêcher d'aller plus loin. Answer. Réponse. The guards did not notice my arrival. So there was vu. no one on guard when I was uh, there to look for cattle or je cows. Du bétail. Um, let me now go back to Question. the village chief um, um, who issued the order um, chef de qui avait or who, who, was, who was somehow responsible for those guards. Was that the person that you earlier referred to as uh, Chief Soy? La personne que vous avez appelé le chef Soy plutôt? And uh, Soy was the village chief. Soy était le chef du village. Um, Question. Do you know if Chief Soy ever spoke si to um, Soy people of the commune, one level, 
up aux gens de la commune, did à savoir ever, un did niveau supérieur. N'avez-vous jamais vu parler à des membres du comité de la commune Réponse. Answer, no, no. I did not witness any uh, discussion. Je n'ai pas But été the témoin commune de chef who made the order. Mais le chef de commune a donné l'ordre. Did you ever see him Question. speak to Avez-vous vu uh, members of -vous vu one level up the district? À des Did you ever gens see him speak with people district? from uh, the district committee? L'avez-vous vu parler avec des responsables du comité de district? Answer, réponse. no, I did not see non. that. Um, yet, um, to Question. the investigators and also Mais this pourtant, morning, you said that he received his matin, orders from, quote, unquote, the upper echelon. De uh, what is the source of um, dire la source your, de your conclusion that he received his order from the, quote, unquote, upper echelon? Answer. I heard from other villagers. I heard that the order was received from the upper echelon and then it was enforced. But did the, the villagers tell you how they knew? Or was it, or was it hearsay from them as well? Ils le savaient ou était-ce du oui dire de leur part aussi? Answer. I heard from the villagers entendu that de and they simply said that by themselves. Que le cas et chose ont dit. Uh, can you explain Question. to the court what kind of person Chief Soy was? Le chef Soy. What, what, what kind of man was he? Was he a cruel man? Or was he, genre de était -il? Uh, était -il cruel? Where was he from originally? Who was he? Qui était -il? Answer. He was not a cruel person. He was from Ying village. Il venait du village de Ying. And what else do you remember Question. about him? Et de quoi vous souvenez-vous à son sujet? Answer. I don't recall. Uh, any further details Je because Soy died a long time ago. Il est mort il y a Have you ever heard whether he Question. was someone who didn't like Vietnamese people? Have you ever heard whether he was someone who didn't like Vietnamese people? No, I didn't hear that. Non, je now, so, some, some uh, very few questions I have now about uh, Chanta. Um, when was what, was she in this? Was she working in a mobile unit? And if yes, did you ever see her mobile. work there? Et oui, si oui, l'avez-vous déjà vu travailler dans cette unité? Answer: Réponse. I used to see her at a mobile unit. Je la voyais dans une unité mobile. Did you see Question. her when she was called for a study session? Et l'avez-vous vu quand on l'a convoqué à une séance d'études? Answer. Réponse. Yes, I did. Oui. She was called for a study on session, Ye Ten, who called her for that purpose. Do you know why Question. her grandparents were not also um, uh, requested to attend a study session? Grandparents n'ont pas été convoqués à une séance d'études. Answer: Réponse. I don't know about that. Je ne le sais pas. Um, my last question 
Um, Mr. Witness, have you ever heard voilà, ma uh, of an uprising in Chikrang district um, during which uh, two uh, Khmer Rouge um, cadres were killed? Dans le, au cours duquel euh, on, des cadres Khmer Rouge ont été tués. Uh. Answer. Réponse. Yes, I heard oui. about that. J'en ai entendu parler. In Chikrang district, um, one of Dans the female cadre Khal Kham was uh, killed. Kham a été tué. Do you know why that was? Why did Question. that happen? Et pourquoi? Answer. I don't know uh, what it was the, that uprising. I don't know the reason why they did that. Je ne sais pas ils ont fait ça. This this cadre that got killed was Mais that someone who had any connections with Chief Soy? Avait-elle un lien quelconque avec le chef Soy? Answer. Réponse. No, I non. did not hear anything uh, of uh, relationship to village, village chief Soy. I don't know. Avec le chef Soy. No. Le chef du village Soy. No. Soy uh, was in Soy. Uh, a different village. Était dans un autre ville. Thank you very much, Mr. Witness. Thank you. Merci, Monsieur le Témoin. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Le président. President, thank you. Merci. Uh, before giving the floor to the Sun Council for Kyusun Pond, um, Church Lewen may have a question, so you may proceed, Church Lewen. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Je n'ai pas de questions à poser aux témoins. Je voudrais thank simplement you, que Mr. Mr. Coupé, s'il le peut, nous indique s'il y a des documents qui like seraient état de ce soulèvement dans le district de Chikrang. To tell the chamber whether he has any documents that would uh, deal with the uprising in the region of Chikrang. Um, yes, I do. Oui. Um, it's a, it's somewhere in the pile. It's a rogatory report by the investigators of the co-investigating judges. Um, somewhere here. Um, I am happy to provide that to you. Um, Je serai ravi de vous en donner la référence. Judge Levin, at one point. Quand je trouverai. President, thank you. Um, now the floor is given to the Fund Council for Kilsen Pond to put, que to put questions for this witness. Now you may proceed. Um, uh, for the Defense Council for Kilsen Pond, we have no question uh, to put to this question. Thank you, Mr. President. I President, Le President, now it is uh, the time that the testimony of um, In Won is come voilà to an end. Uh, thank you, Mr. In Won, for your time Merci testifying before the Chamber for one day. And your testimony may contribute to the ascertaining of the truth. You are now excused. You may go back to your residence or to any destination uh, you wish. Um, we wish you uh, good luck, good health, um, and a safe trip. And court officer and uh, staff of the witness support section uh, coordinate his trip to go back to his uh, re resident. Uh, we don't have a reserve witness for today, and um, the trial chamber um, will adjourn for today, and um, the hearing will uh, start um, um, tomorrow. 
Mr. Coppe, um, you may have the floor uh, to address the court. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. President. Two things. The document uh, that was just uh, asked for is E3-8327. Um, it's English ERN 0023308, French 0024-2029, and Kumar 0024-6683. And it is a um, report of execution of rogatory letter dated 19 September 2008. Uh, and the other thing, Mr. President, uh, this Autre morning point, I sent um, an email to the senior legal Rigui, officer uh, in respect of email, uh, very brief oral submissions matin, I would like de to make uh, either today or tomorrow. Of course, it's up to you. There's no demain, bien sûr, hurry. Uh, um, de décider, but um, if you allow me, I can make them now uh, souhaitez, or at another faire stage. Cela cet après-midi ou plus tard. President, yes, you um, can provide us with that tomorrow. Oui, vous pouvez faire ça demain. And during tomorrow proceedings, um, the trial chamber We'll hear the testimony of witness TCW 1000. Parties are invited to this proceeding court. Uh, security personnel are instructed to bring Kilsen Pond and Noon Chia back to the detention facility and have them back tomorrow before 9 o'clock. The court is adjourned.